here's what we're doing today. We're gonna put together this beautiful one seat chair. Uh, it's from OSP Home Furnishings and it looks like it is just, the color is brushed gray. And it's item number, where are you at? Is hashtag backslash art dot colon a b b dash b y four. All right, I'll go ahead and open it up and be just a moment. Okay, I got the box open. Now we're just going to put everything aside, uh, put it piece by piece, then we'll follow the directions to put it together. Okay. Excellent. Here we go. This is interesting. It's actually kind of heavy. Oh, what a nice color. That's, that's not bad. I kind of like that. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, look at the size of those. Beautiful cushions. What we're going to do is we're going to try to leave that cushion in the bag until we're done. Guys, I don't know about y'all, but I don't want to get it dirty. We just started it. Uh-oh. Here it goes. Okay. I like to try to keep everything on the cardboard so I'm not scratching up the floors or damaging the piece we're working on. Very important, especially if you just spend all that money on something that you want beautiful. You just don't want to go mess it up, too. We got the package. Love these. Interesting little chair. Tape legs. Chair legs, maybe? We'll see. Set those over there. Ah, perfect. The instructions, along with the parts. We definitely need the parts. And a little clue, or a little thing I like to do, is so you can see, still see which parts are what. What I like to do is just take the top and kind of give it a little score so that you can just pull right from the pieces they are. Be careful you don't cut your fingers and only cut the plastic. Okay, always cut away from you. Excellent. And you can see here they gave us two um, hex keys. So there must be two different sizes we're going to be using. We'll see. Okay. Now that all those are open and still visible to the letters so we can see them. Perfect. Instructions. Now we'll kind of clean up the mess a little bit because we don't want to work with all that styrofoam. So let me put it on pause and I'll see where we can put that. All right, check out this bag, y'all. Look, it says Halt, uh, Woven Contractor. Okay, we put all of our... Give you some beautiful pictures. Um, okay, so it says about the spindle chair. That's what this design is called. And then it gives you a beautiful illustration of what parts you have, what's gonna be needed where, what number they are, how many you should have to finish your project, and what parts you're gonna be putting together. Okay, as I can see here, there only seems to be five parts to put together. As far as the illustration goes, it says step one, Step two, three, and four. And then it ends up with your beautiful chair. So let's get started. So this one says we're going to need the back of the chair along with the base of the chair. And I always surmise that's what it is from its pictures. Here's the back of the chair. See, that's why we put it on cardboard. That way there's, there's no problems. Now, this one shows it being upside down, like so, and then putting it together with 
with, 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 with E's, B, G, and K. And it looks like you do both of them the same. So, we'll find the chair that goes with that base. And it looks to be this one here. But the, the drawing specifically shows it backwards. So I'm looking in its hollow chair. And then it shows this actually hooking in to the pieces here. It's almost like it fits together like a little puzzle. With that being stated, what we'll do is, oh, I see. Okay. So, I am looking at this properly, and it looks like it just fits into a hole. Oh, my goodness. Alright, let's just set them down. Uh, we'll get the parts we need. So, I need two E's, two B's, two G's, and two K's. Alright, so we have an E. Alright, so the E's are definitely washers. Now B is showing these small screws here. So we'll take those two first. Take those two first, along with the washer, the locking washer, which is the one that's kind of bent, and then when you tighten it, it straightens together and helps lock it in. And then it shows you to have your trusty uh, there we go found the right one now we'll go ahead and just put this together as it states uh, now looking at the picture again I also see where it needs to go together now there that's where it's going to go together so, it shows them going in the inside holes here, just like that there. And then you just tighten it up. I think I have a drill bit that is this size. Let's just see. Um, yes, I do, but that is not it. Excellent, here's the next size drill bit. Now this is a hex key drill bit. It is the same size as your hex key. When you set it up close to each other, you'll see that they match. That will do the trick of this. But you have to set it at low settings so you don't over tighten it or strip the bit in the chair. See, that just tightened up so beautifully. Now let's try the other one. Put it right on in. You don't want to over tighten it, but you definitely want to make sure it's nice and secure. Beautiful. It's nice and tight. It's not going to move on you. And we've completed step one. Now we're going to go to step two. Step two shows us turning this chair over and actually adding one of the arms. So let us follow the illustration. And it says here that we'll be using one of these. I love these bubbles. Me and my dad would sit and pop these bubbles for hours. Okay, this looks like it has the little plastic for the floor base. And this is definitely just a wooden dowel piece, nice and round, which will fit right into the hole of the chair. So we'll put that in first. Oh, see? Kind of twist it a little bit. You don't have to go 
goes overboard, just nice and twisty. And then excellent. Now we have a beautiful chair piece here that we will have to make sure it stays on the cardboard. And then we'll screw it from the back side. Now this one here states that we're going to be using a K, a C, a G, and E. So basically what we need now are the C screws. And on the package they give you, you'll, you'll see that it definitely states C times four. But we only need two. Actually, my mistake, we only need one here. And it shows it going Uh-oh, it also shows something going into the back of the chair to make sure that stays tight too. Uh, let me, hmm. oh, it shows this one, this one, this one. All right, so we're gonna put this here. And that in there. It definitely does have, Okay, there we go. That's tightened in. Nice and tucked. Now we'll see what's going on with the back of so this piece here. Oh, it definitely shows a screw hole. Oh, and I totally missed that. Okay, so we're going to need a J an A and an F. What are the A's? A's are, oh, these two little screws here. So we'll need one of the A's for this side. Here we go. It's gonna be beautiful. Oh, gotta see what size it is. It is definitely the smaller chuck size. Not to worry, because I have another one. And we'll put that in, get it started a little bit. Trade bits and voila, nice and tight. Mm, don't lose your bit. Oh. Just a little tap on it, we'll get it loose. Perfect. Okay, looks like that's it nice and tight. Yep, don't want to mess it up. And then we will cap that with one of the H's here that it definitely shows to use. Now when you're putting your little caps and stuff in, you can use glue to put them in, but just keep in mind, if you use glue and it becomes loose or you have to take it apart, it's a bear to dig out. So I would prefer just kind of put it in there and give it a nice little tap with the hammer. Just a nice little tap. See how it just smoothed right in? Beautiful. Now we'll do the other side. There we go. One thing about putting together furniture, it's not much variations. They try to make it as easy as they can for us to put together. At least that's what I've noticed. And we are going to get 
another one of those C screws. Make sure we have the right bit and we'll take care of that. using both screws. I'm going to go ahead and finish screwing these legs off and then we'll screw in the back legs as it states because we have all the screws so we have to make sure we use all the bits where we're supposed to. change anything about that. Not one thing. Okay. Make sure we add the screws to the back of the legs where they're supposed to go. And again, do one side, one screw, then come back. Don't do it both at one time because it over tightens. It stresses out the, the chair, and then you'll have a doozy of a time making sure it stays together. gorgeous. That is a gorgeous little chair. All right, so let's put the cushions on it, see what it looks like all together. Now, they, they've given you little cloth to cover up the Velcro here. Let's go ahead and take that off, and then we'll put the chair cushions right down. All right, so let's get that back one first. Here it goes. Now, make sure to put the zipper towards the back more aesthetically appealing. Wow, big old thick cushion. Huh. Okay. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Now we'll get the back chair here. See what that looks like. Woman. See you next time. Awesome.